Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the MCQ related with uh, engineering graphics in the topic of projection of solids. So the first question, the minimum number of orthographic view required to represent a solid on the flat surface is option A1, option B2, option C3, option D4. So the correct answer is option B2. So next question, when a pyramid or cone is cut by a plane, Parallel to its base, thus removing the top position, the remaining portion is called option A cylinder, option B frustum, option C prism, option D polyhydron. So the correct answer is option B frustum. So next question, straight line drawn from the apex to the circumference of the base, circle are all equal and are called option A edges, option B connecting lines, option C projectors, option D generators. So the correct answer is option D generators. So next question, if a solid axis is perpendicular to one of the reference plane, that the projection of the solid on to the same plane gives the true shape and size of its option A lateral geometry, option B base, option C cross section, option D surface. So the correct answer is option B base. So next question, when the axis of solid is perpendicular to horizontal plane, the dash view should be drawn first and the dash view should be projected from it. Option A, front and top. Option B, top and side. Option C, side and front. Option D, top and front. So the correct answer is option D, top and front. So next question, when the axis of solid is perpendicular to vertical plane, the dash view should be drawn first and the dash view then projected from it. Option A, front and top. Option B, top and side. Option C, side and front. Option D, top and front. So the correct answer is option A, front and top. So next question, when the axis of solid is parallel to the horizontal plane and vertical plane, then dash view should be drawn first and dash and dash view then projected from it. Option A, front, top and side. Option B, top, side and front. Option C, side, front and top. Option D, top, front and side. So the correct answer is option C, side, front and top. So next question, the front view, side view and the top view of the regular square pyramid standing on the horizontal plane based on the horizontal plane, option A, triangle, triangle and square, option B, square, triangle and a triangle, option C, square, triangle and square, option D, triangle, square and triangle. So the correct answer is option A, triangle, triangle and square. So next question, the front view, side view and the top view of the cylinder standing on the horizontal plane based on the horizontal plane, option A, circle, rectangle and rectangle, option B, rectangle, rectangle and circle, option C, rectangle, circle and rectangle, option D, circle, triangle and triangle. So the correct answer is option B, rectangle, rectangle and circle. So next question, when a solid is placed such a axis is inclined with the vertical plane and parallel to the horizontal plane, its projection are drawn in dash stages. Option A1, option B2, option C3, option D4. So the correct answer is option B2. Next question, dash surface is formed when the sphere is cut by the plane. Option A, ellipse, option B, parabola, option C, circle, option D, hyperbola. So the correct answer is option C, circle. So next question, when the hemisphere is placed on the ground on its flat surface, its front view is a option A, semicircle, option B, circle, option C, ellipse, option D, irregular one. So the correct answer is option A, semicircle. So next question, when a hemisphere is placed on the ground on its top flat face, its top view is a option A, semicircle, option B, circle, Option C ellipse, option D irregular one. So the correct answer is B circle. So next question, to understand some of the hidden geometry of the components, an imaginary plane is used to cut the object which is called dash plane. Option A axillary, option B picture, option C section, option D additional. So the correct answer is option C section. So next question, which of the following is not the purpose of using the cutting section plane? Option A, interpretation of object. Option B, visualizing object. Option C, cutting the objects. Option D, invisible features. So the correct answer is option C, cutting the objects. So next question, to find the true shape of the section, it must be projected on the plane parallel to the dash plane. 
ऑप्शन ए प्रोफाइल ऑप्शन बी वर्टिकल ऑप्शन सी एक्सलरी ऑप्शन डी सेक्शन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी सेक्शन सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ये क्यूब इज रेस्टेड ऑन हरिजेंटल प्लेन ऑन वन ऑफ इट्स बेस सच दैट बेस डायगोनल इज परपेंडिकुलर टू द वर्टिकल प्लेन एंड द सेक्शन प्लेन इज पैरेलल टू द वर्टिकल प्लेन द सेक्शन विल बी ऑप्शन ए ट्रायंगल ऑप्शन बी रेक्टेंगल ऑप्शन सी ट्रेबिजम ऑप्शन डी पैरेललोग्राम सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी रेक्टेंगल सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ये स्क्वायर प्रमिड इज प्लेसड ऑन वर्टिकल प्लेन विद द स्क्वायर एज द बेस ऑन वर्टिकल प्लेन द कटिंग प्लेन इज पैरल टू द वर्टिकल प्लेन द सेक्शन विल बी ऑप्शन ए ट्रायंगल ऑप्शन बी रेक्टेंगल ऑप्शन सी स्क्वायर ऑप्शन डी पेंटागन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी स्क्वायर सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ये सरेंट इज प्लेसड ऑन हरिजेंटल प्लेन ऑन इट्स बेस एंड सेक्शन प्लेन इज पैरल टू द वर्टिकल प्लेन कटिंग द सॉलिड इन द सेक्शन गिवस ऑप्शन ए पैरापोला ऑप्शन बी सर्कल ऑप्शन सी रेक्टेंगल ऑप्शन डी एलिप्स सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी रेक्टेंगल सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ये सिलेंडर इज प्लेसड ऑन हरिजेंटल प्लेन ऑन इट्स बेस एंड सेक्शन प्लेन इज पैरल टू द हरिजेंटल प्लेन कटिंग द सॉलिड द सेक्शन गिवस ऑप्शन ए पैरापोला ऑप्शन बी सर्कल ऑप्शन सी रेक्टेंगल ऑप्शन डी एलिप्स सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी सर्कल सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच मेथड of development is employed in the case of cones option a parallel line development option b approximation method option c triangulation development option d radial line development so the correct answer is option d radial line development next question the development of lateral surface of pyramid consists of number of equal dash triangles in the contact option a equilateral option b isosceles option c square and option d right angle So the correct answer is option B isosceles. So next question, the development of the surface of the cube consists of dash equal squares. The length of the side of the squares is equal to the length of the edge of the cube. Option A three, option B four, option C six, option D eight. So the correct answer is option C six. Again we will see next video. Thank you.